for me, but I'll take it anyway. <laughs> My lords and ladies, I am Lord Maddock, Lord High Tax Collector of Nottingham and Marshal of the Field, and I welcome you, one and all, to this day's festivities! <laughs> this day, I would have you know that in celebration of Her Majesty Queen Eleanor's visit to Nottingham, a tournament of martial skill shall be held here on the field for her honor and the entertainment of all those here assembled. Yay. Now, I must notice that several of you do have a rather common look about you, and clearly some of you are peasants, and yes, I'm pointing to you, sir. <laughs> I can only assume this means you have some sort of leave from your labors, and that you are not, in fact, shirking your duties. I warn you to be on your best behavior, or you may well find yourself celebrating from the stocks. And now, it is my great honor to introduce to you His Highness Regent of England, Prince John! Huzzah! Huzzah! John! Yeah. And Her Majesty, the Dowager Queen of England, Eleanor of Aquitaine! Huzzah! Yeah. Accompanied by her faithful attendant, Hodge. Huzzah! Uh, one moment, Lord Maddock. No, you, you forgot our boss. The Honorable Sheriff of Nottingham! That's it! Yeah. Yeah. Get on with the tournament, Maddock. <laughs> My lords and ladies, this day's event shall consist of three tournaments of skill upon the field. This first demonstration shall be a game of mounted skills open to all qualified competitors for Let's, Her Majesty's pleasure. Let's just move on with the joust. My boys love the sound of smashing lances and breaking bones. <laughs> Sheriff, I do not. Surely, Sheriff, we could hold the breaking of bones until after lunch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we do have two more scheduled events this afternoon. There will be ample time for the breaking of bones after everyone has had their <laughs> midday meal. Mm, seems more civilized. Oh, disgusting. My lords and ladies, the day's event shall consist of three games, first selected by their, majest by their majesties, His Highness the Prince and Queen Eleanor. Those who exhibit a high degree of skill in these games may be selected to participate in the joust. And now, to introduce your competitors. Firstly, Riding in the colors of green and gold, I give you the daughter of a disgraced father, a knight arrested for the crime of insurrection against the crown, an honorary knight whose claim to the title is very much in doubt, Dame Isabel of Sussex. for some time. <laughs> Only the crows know where he lies. <laughs> well, at least there'll be no more rousing of the rabble by his hands. Oh. <laughs> well said, Sheriff, does he still have an outstanding request for leniency? Yes, my lord. <laughs> Deny the request. <laughs> <laughs> Champion is. 
And now for her competitor, riding in the noble colors of purple and black, I give you the crusher of rebellion, the oppressor of the oppressed, and the originator of the death tax, my personal favorite. <laughs> I give you the Lord of Blackpool, Sir Trent! <laughs> Indeed, a huzzah for these champions both. And now, at this time, the list shall be closed and the game's begun, unless there are any others who wish to compete. And as I see no one, we shall begin with the first competition. What? What the? <laughs> <laughs> More precisely, what are you? I'm Mucky, and I'm here to compete! I can see that you're Mucky, but what is your name? <laughs> My name is Mucky, Mucky Buckets, and I clean the stables! But today, I'm going to win the tournament and become a knight! <laughs> 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 It's never good when she comes down from there. Tell me, girl! Who are you? Why are you here? Is that... Is that the Queen? Yes! Speak your words carefully. Your most amazing queenliness! <laughs> I am Mucky Buckets, and I live here in Nordingham, and I clean the stables, and then I also clean the privy, and sometimes I catch rats, and the wind blows sticks down into people's yards where I gather them up. <coughs> well, I, uh, I heard there was to be a tournament this day, and I'm, well, I'm just a peasant, but I'd, I'd much rather be a knight, and I thought that this would uh, be a good way to do that. <laughs> Utterly lacking in legal precedent! Forge! Well, it is! Peasants do not compete, your majesty! Mistress Buckets, this is a tournament of nobles and you are a peasant! Remove yourself from this field at once! Perhaps we should simply execute her for the crime of stupidity! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, folks! We tried! We can still dream of being nice! Oh. Mistress Bucket, stop! You're, you're, you're not going to lock me away and feed me to the crows! I didn't know that it was wrong to be here! You did not know because you were a peasant and therefore stupid! Be gone from this field! Trent of Blackpool! <laughs> this is my field of honor! Do you not think for one moment I would not break you upon it? Hold your tongue! Mistress Bucket, come stand before me! Okay, if they, if they lock me away feed me to the crows. I want you to go run and hide in the woods again until some nice person finds you. Now, um, stay. <laughs> okay, so that's stay. Mistress Spockets, that's uh, Poole and Isabel. <laughs> Mistress Isabel. Today is a festival day in my honor, and I will decide who participates. I see you have a Horse? <laughs> I do, Your Majesty. His name is Thor, and I found him in the woods. And he's not very big right now, but I think when he grows up, he's going to be a great war horse. <laughs> <laughs> and you feel you and your noble steed are fit to compete against the greatest champions in my kingdom? Well, Thor's not as big as the other horses, but I think his heart is just as big, and, and that's what matters, isn't it? What? There are some that would say your lot in life is determined by the circumstances of your birth. Of course. They would say that you have no right to be here, except perhaps to clean muck. Oh, oh, if I win the tournament, I don't mind staying afterwards to help pick up and stuff. Even if I win and become a noble, doesn't mean that I shouldn't pitch in and make this a nicer place. Oh, and hold on, I even, I, I even brought a broom. We're all in this together, peasants and nobles. Do it.
drought. You hear that, fool? We're going to be knights! I'm going to be sick. Lord Maddox, the people have spoken. You know what you must do. Oh. Very well, your majesty, so be it. My lords and ladies, riding in the colors of dirt and filth, <laughs> I give you the champion of Nottingham, Mucky Buckets. Huzzah! And now let these games begin. Oh, I'll use that as, as my lance. It'll be perfect. Okay. I call first for a test of the quintain. Will require your moving elsewhere. Oh, I think this Will this be a problem? <laughs> 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 the quintain is a device required by all squires wishing to become knights as a testing device for the accuracy of their lance and the speed of their horse. They must strike the target upon the shield quickly and ride past swiftly before they are attacked by the flail at the opposite end. I shall award one point for the clean execution of this task. Sir Trent! Sir Trent! Alone. Move away and let the man have the field. I give him the honor of the first pass. I was just confused. I'm very sorry about that. Oh, this is not going to be well. Sir Trent, at your leisure. Lords and ladies, a little noise. Oh. Oh. Well struck, Sir Trent. A point to the Lord of Blackpool. Reset for Dame Isabel. Huzzah! Oh Woo! Nice! Yay. A point to the Knight of Sussex, begrudgingly given. And now, this. Whatever this is. Let us move on to the next challenge. <laughs> we shall test the footing of the list by acquiring these knights to collect the ring from the hand of their very brave squire. A point for each ring captured. Sir Trent, when you are prepared, the field is yours. Good thing Sir Gray was Well written, sir. Reset for Dame Isabel. A ring for the champion of Nottingham. <laughs> Shall we increase the difficulty? Yeah. Aye. Why not? Shall we endanger the life of another squire? Yes. Yeah. Aye. Two rings in the list. <laughs> Sir Trent, the field is yours. Here's some noise. Woo! experience shows. It's a good thing Sir Gregor against Hey, well. <laughs> He's a dangerous... By some player. miracle, it would appear that Sir Trent and Bucky Buckets lead a point ahead of the Dame Sussex. <clears throat> which means that they are tied. No! But no. I assure you, I assure you, Sir Trent, you shall persevere in the next event. Squires, set the field for the obstacle course. Not tied with that. <coughs> Our challengers shall start at the far end of the field with sword in hand. Their first task shall be to race by swiftly and remove the heads from these two Frenchmen. You may know them as heads of cabbage. <laughs> they must then discard sword, take up spear, and using the butt end of the spear, knock down the appropriately named knockdown quintain. They must then quickly reverse direction on the spear so as to strike the hay bale target yonder. They will then take up their colors and parade the field. And I shall award one point 
for the clean execution of each element of this task. Lord Maddock? Yes. That's I right. object. This course requires use of weapons, including swords. Peasants are not allowed access to oh, swords. She well, has no sword. Cannot well compete, and the peasant must be disqualified. <laughs> Lady Elizabeth Hester, that's her. Using a stick. I appreciate it. I'm not blaming me for Trent, unless you're afraid of him. Oh, clearly, Dane is not. Oh, Trent, don't you worry. I will never actually hit him with my sword. It might, it might give him splinters. Aww. <laughs> Sir Trent, I leave it to you, my good sir. <laughs> so be it. I am a knight, and I shall persevere upon. Shut it. Stop that. Look that way. <laughs> <laughs> It's frightening. <laughs> all right, I shall defeat them all on the field of honor as knights do, and she will go home crying, crying tears like a crocodile, and it will be your fault because you will Well said, Sir Trent. Oh, thank you. Oh, you. Oh, you. Oh, you. Knights do not sing upon the field to your end. <laughs> Just more evidence that she's not a knight. Very well. Squires, is the field prepared? Sir Trent! <laughs> At your leisure, sir. I'm really angry now. Here's a noise. Isabel of Sussex. What a pity.
But at the end of the third challenge, Sir Trent is tied with yeah. Monkey Buckets. <laughs> to show their skill with sword in single combat. <coughs> he shall don sword, dismount. <laughs> as this is a festival day, and um, since the shedding of blood has been precluded until after luncheon, I would suggest that these knights fight to destroy a crest upon the helm of their opponent while simultaneously defending their own. The knights must stand at the barrier at all times. Any knight who retreats from the barrier forfeits not only the fight, but indeed his honor. When these knights are prepared, they may begin. Treason, that crown belongs to King Richard. Hey, 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 Tell me, my lord, can't you find any other way to capture a girl's attention? No. no. What's he doing here? You big, brave men call yourselves nobles? Why, you're nothing but a bunch of bullies. This young girl has shown more pluck and nobility than a lot of you combined. We will not stand here and watch her spirit crush. Tuck, Will, get the girl. We're bringing her with us back to Sherwood. I rather <laughs> we'll see about that, outlaw. Oh, will we, Sheriff? Come on, Sheriff, take them down. God, give me a dad. My heaven! Oh, then, then kill that girl. <laughs> Come, Sheriff, take the Move! Come on, Robin! What? Yeah. Huzzah! Oh, yes. <laughs> Your sword for the girl. Come on, then. Where are we going? We mustn't wait Look time. Captain Sherwood. But can, can Thor come, too? Thor? Who's Thor? Where's my horse, of course? Come on. God's sake, turn to Ladies, this tournament is ended. Be on your way. Huzzah! 